the differential is that in this situation, if I if someone comes at you egotistically, in this situation you don't have to respond with ego, but you have to de- you have to destroy the platform that they're standing on, which is the ego. So if they're trying to reframe, let's say you go into a store, and this actually happened to me tonight. This is the reason I'm doing this. But if you let's say you go into a store and you ask a question like, "Hey, can I get a pack of cigarettes?" This wasn't what. This wasn't what I do. I'll just do a fake example. I went to a, get a, pick, a, pick up a pizza tonight. But let's say you go in the store and you say, hey, I'd like to get some cigarettes. And the person just, it's an obvious request. They know exactly what you want. But they either, they look at you funny or they're like, what? Or, or they do something to make it seem like you said, you asked something stupid or you were being dumb. Now this is done. They're doing this because they don't want to follow your, they don't want to do what you say because they're working at a convenience store. They're kind of tired of it. They don't want to have to be there, you know, acting this out at this little game that, I mean, it's not a little game. It's literally, I'm coming into the store. I need some cigarettes. I'm asking you, I'm telling you, I'm asking, can I have some cigarettes? I need some cigarettes, whatever. I'm the customer. I'm in the store. You got to listen to me and they don't like it. And this happens a lot in retail and service. So this is... This is one of the places that this stuff manifests itself, okay? So the, so the, what these people would do, so, the, so what they are doing in that situation is they are trying to reframe this relationship that has just started. You just came into the store and asked them for something. And they don't like it. They don't like being asked to do something or told to do something. And, and I let, let's assume that I'm going in there and being genuine as possible and nice as possible. Up. I'm t- but they have to go get those cigarettes for me because I asked. They don't like it, right? So what pe- what they will do often is they will switch, they will switch up the f- the framing of the situation. They either say what or like or like what like, what do you mean? Or like they try to act in some way, like what you said was stupid, <sighs> or like what you said, um, you know was was like a ridiculous thing to say. When it's completely not, you're just asking for, it's literally just a transaction. Someone who's stable and not doing this type of thing would just gra- say, hey, for sure, man, I'll grab you, and then go grab you. Sleep. I mean, how many of these people are out there? You, you, you run into these type of people every once in a while. Um, but, so, that when, when that is done, when those situations come up, it's like, now how do we approach this from a place that's not responding with the ego. Because the trap now is that you've had someone, you've just, you've just entered this interaction, which is just a simple transaction at a, at a retail store. And now what's happened is this person is coming at you with a level of ego, egotism. Or let's say, let's say another example. Let's say you're walking home from, from work or whatever. You get home back to your house and your roommate Who's not, he was not really your friend, but he's just a fucking roommate. He's kind of a douche. And this happened to me before too, where you get into the house and the guy tries, he got, he wants to have an ego trip on you. So he's like, just saying something rude offhand, right? You know, some sort of comment out of nowhere that puts you in this, that makes you feel it's, it's basically purely out of ego. Maybe this person has had a bad day and they just make a comment. So we got these two examples. You know, well, in these situations where someone comes at you with, you know, with, with, with trying to reframe a situation, stealing energy from you with, to try to feed it to their ego. And I could, I'm, right now, this, I've got a bunch of examples coming to my mind of this, where this happened in my life. I'm realizing that this is something that, that bothers me on a regular basis because now you're forced with a choice. Like, how do I engage with this in a way that is productive? Now, in the past, prior in my life, when I was young, I wouldn't know what to do in these situations. I would just kind of I'd either stumble through it. I would kind of, you know, be kind of unaware of what's going on and would just, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know what I would do, but it, it would, I wouldn't. The person would definitely steal the energy from me and take it for themselves 100%. I would be kind of robbed. Honestly, I don't even 
when I was younger, I didn't have much of an awareness of this at all. So I think that would happen a lot. Like if somebody like that who is ungenuine, been acting off of ego, you know, being disrespectful or rude, engaged with me, they were probably going to win because I didn't really have any basis for understanding that. Growing up, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of interaction with people like that. You know, I lived, I grew up in a house that's out in the woods. So I hung out with my brothers a lot. And then my parents and my parents, they're pretty genuine people for the most part, you know. I don't really want to get into that right now. But hanging with my brothers, like most interactions were genuine. There wasn't a lot of ego stealing like that. Unless I wasn't doing it. I don't know. I don't really want to get into my family dynamics. That's kind of a whole other uh, thing. But when I was younger, in like my teens and early 20s, when I would run into people who were egotistical, I really would have no idea how to handle it. And that's how, why I would call myself a pussy because, well, later on I realized I was kind of being a bitch just because I would, I would just kind of like either submit to it or just be like, I don't even, I would have no idea how to deal with it really. And I would usually end up acting, reacting emotionally or like, what the fuck is this? Or getting mad, I don't know. Honestly, that, that lifetime, it feels like another lifetime ago. Now, okay, walking back through my own life. Now, when, when I decided that I'm not going to take that shit anymore and decided not to be a pussy when I was 25, you know, I, I, then I took on the persona of the asshole. And how I would deal with those situations is when, when an ego came to me, I would just respond purely with my own ego and decimate that person. I figured out a way over time and just over experience, I, would, I was driving Uber at the time, at that time of my life when I was 25. And a lot of the time, I would actually go out of my way to be egotistical to people. I, I started being that other person who was bringing the ego into the situation and stealing energy from them. Because I just wanted to, dude, I wanted to fucking, I was making up for all those last years where I would get fucked over. And I was the bitch. And I was making other people feel like shit. And it felt fucking good, man. And a lot of the times, people who could roll with it, like, I got a kind of a way where it's like, you know, if people can roll with it, then it becomes banter, right? But it, but if the person can't deal with it, then you can just make them feel like shit, dude. You can just fucking destroy a person. And it does make you feel powerful. It makes you feel like you fucking, dude, it's such an, they call it ego trip. It's an ego trip, man. It's 100%. It's just a power trip. If you can do that to somebody and they, but it's so evil. It's so evil. But okay, going back to the example, in these situations, so, so now, now that I'm past that period, I'm trying to get past that period of my life, I, f- I feel like I'm in a new phase of my life where I don't want to be an asshole. I see the consequences that have, that has brought to me, and I don't want to be that person. So now I'm trying to figure out, what do, what do you do in that situation if I'm not going to react completely? Because I'm not inhabiting this persona of of egotism like i don't that's kind of gone from my life i've I, i've i've been humbled man life has humbled me and brought me down to my knees and crushed me and i've been to hell because of my own actions i, I did it to myself so i so i don't i'm not going to be that person anymore but now it's like you know there's a, these people are still out in the world and it's like how do i deal with them if i'm not going to just be a complete prick and fuck them up because if i'm if someone come, would come at me with that ego, now I'm going to come at you with that fucking ego and to fucking own you. So you just make them feel like complete shit. <sighs> but I don't want to do that anymore. I don't, I don't want to... If someone comes at me with egotism, I'm not going to respond in kind. So I'm trying to figure out like what is the right, correct response to a situation where someone is trying to... Um, to take over, to try to dominate the situation. Not even dominate it's pretty light. That's pretty light shit, right? You're at a re- at a fucking convenience store and the guy's being a douche behind the counter. That's pretty light. But I think I think the way to do it. You can't take it on with ego because then you've lost. You can't be a bitch. You can't just let him fucking win. And you can't fucking be an asshole because then you've you've lost again. Because you've because you've done you've you've played the game. You're doing the exact same shit that they're doing, and they've you've been you've you've been tempted by the devil, man. Like that, either, inhabiting that and taking that response is fucking un 
it's disingenuous and it's dis, it's unrighteous. Even though you can you can get some short term gains off it, you're not gonna you're not gonna really have a lasting success in life if you're dealing with people, even if they're coming at you first. If you're dealing them with if you're dealing with people with ego, you're going to lose. So I'm trying to figure out what do you do? What do you fucking do? I think I think what you do, and I'm just gonna work through this here right now, try to figure it out. But I really think what you do is if they're trying to if they're trying to let's just say this example, you go into the store, you're like, Can I get some cigarettes? And the and the person says, What? What do you mean? Cigarettes? You want me to get cigarettes for you? Or something like that. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the exact example. I'll just use the example from tonight. So I went to Domino's. Okay, I went to pick up a pizza. There was this deal. It was like carry out two pizzas. For It was fucking cheap. It was like 15 bucks for two large pizzas. Great deal. But I go into Domino's. I walked like a half hour to get there because I did. it was only carry out. I don't have a car right now. I didn't want an Uber. So I'm just going to walk there, Uber back. Great. 15 bucks. Uber rides like five bucks. Beautiful. I got two fucking large pizzas for 20 bucks. Perfect. So I'm at this Airbnb right now. So, so I go in over there. I have this great fun, fun walk there through the, through the city. It's like a bunch of interesting shit happens. I'm, I'm, I'm like singing as I go into the store. Actually, I'm like right behind this guy who like, he holds the door. He holds the door for me, but I could tell. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm like seeing ghosts or something. Cause I, I felt like this guy was being a dick too. When he he like held the door. But it was like one of those things where he's like, he's like lording it over me that he held it. But I just brushed it off, man. So my my whole energy right now, since I've been trying to figure this out, is like I've been so removed from my old practice of being egotistical that I'm that I've just been, you know, trying to be kind. Actually, earlier in the night at the fucking gas. And this is actually interesting. Weird stuff comes in threes, right? Three things happen, actually four, or maybe, you know, three and a half or something. I was at the gas station getting a Gatorade before that. So I walked by a gas station, go get a Gatorade. Go up to the counter and the guy's like, all right, this will be uh six ninety eight, buddy. He said, fucking buddy. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate when people call me buddy. I'm not your fucking friend, bitch. I know what you're fucking doing. You're being a douche. You're trying to use your ego. You're getting a little fucking ego steal trying to be condescending. Call me, buddy. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Now, I could say that to him. That'd be pretty fucking crazy. That'd be pretty wild, huh? I've done that before. I've done... When I was... When I was being an asshole, when people would do that, I would be like... I would just say right back to them. Yeah, buddy, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And I'd be like, hey, I I like uh, calling people buddy because it's kind of being a dick, but being nice at the same time. It's fucking great. I'd say that to them. And they would just have this look on their face like they wouldn't really say anything just have to like that half smile it was fucking hilarious actually that shit was great but I, but i'm trying not to fucking be like that anymore because that's a little much actually that's a pretty good that was a pretty good response that shit was fucking funny when i did that um but tonight i'm just like he said that i was like what was that and he didn't really he didn't say anything back to me and, I'm just, and then I was just like oh I thought you and I, just, and I just filled the kind of space kind of said it to myself I was like oh I thought you called me buddy damn what the fuck <laughs> and he didn't say any, he didn't really say anything and after that he was super polite and I just fucking left and so I was just like shit okay so I was just I don't know man it's getting fucking annoying with this shit I'm trying I'm dealing every fucking person who's like every, I don't know these people stand out when you run into them you know what I mean like it's a it's a fucking bit it's so annoying to me. It grinds my gears. And I don't know why it happens all the time. It's probably because I don't know why. People are fucking idiots. So <sighs> anyways, I got, I got to Domino's. I'm walking in the store. I'm singing some song that I heard in the gas station. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good because I just kind of thwarted this guy's douchebaggery. I'm having this fun walk through the city. It's like nine at night. It was actually a fucking great night. You can see the fucking skyscrapers and shit. I walk into the store. This guy like holds the door open. But he was kind of being a douche about it. But I just I just let it go because I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to... This one I'm not even going to deal with at all. And I get to the counter and the guy comes up. And I can immediately tell, like, this guy is not happy to be here. And I know. And so I have empathy for this for this man. 
this fucking like he's in he's like in, in his thirties. He's working at Domino's, and it's like, bro, you know, there's a certain piece of it too where it's like you gotta understand. First of all, it's convenience store guy. Another guy who's going to Domino's at 9 p.m. by himself, getting two pizzas, holding the door. That guy probably, you know, who knows what he's fucking dealing with. That, I mean, whatever, fuck that guy. But the guy behind the counter at Domino's, you got to have a little bit of empathy for that fucker. Because that's not fun to do that. And he probably, he's probably sick of people. But he chose me to try to steal some ego from. So what I said, I go in, I'm, I said, I'm here to pick up the carryout order. And he's like, he looks at me, he's like, what? Uh, or he said what did he say he said some he like repeated what i said but he was like he's he like you're here to carry out and i was just like i took a second <sighs> took a breath and i was just like yeah I'm, I'm here to pick up a carry out order and then he was like oh so you you don't need to order again and he's just making it fucking now at this point he's just making it fucking hard on me right he's trying to make it seem like I'm a dumbass for coming in and fucking saying I'm here to pick up a carry out, which is obvious. If you're picking up an order from a store and then carrying it out, you fucking have already ordered. So, you know, I'm not, and I, I thought about this after and I was like, was he actually just being, could it, could it have been confusing? It's like, no, a pickup. If you're coming to pick something up, you've already, it's there. You don't, you're not coming to pick up a pizza and there might have been a slight, a slight confusion, but I'm, I'm telling you, from the energy that he was giving me, it was like, it was, he was trying to like, you know, he was trying to make me feel dumb in the situation that, so that he could feel like he, he was trying to steal energy from me, man. There's fucking energy vampires. That's what egotism is, is you're taking energy from another person and you're fucking give it, feeding it to your ego, the fucking ego trip. So what did I say? I was like, yeah, man, I... I already ordered. I can't even remember how it went after that. It was just like somewhat tense because I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, and I didn't really crack the situation with the joke or anything. I was, I don't know. I was already kind of pissed at the guy at the door. The whole energy in there was weird. And it's just like, you know what? I'm trying to be fucking a good person in here. I'm trying to be respect. The whole time I was, I was not leaning into any of being an asshole the guy at the door i just ignored him said thank you and then this guy i was just like i just straight up repeated what i said and then when he tried to make me feel dumb i was just like i just answered this question because so i was just like i'm not even fucking dealing with this i'm not gonna come at i'm not gonna come at you so so let's i mean walking through my life again when i was real young i was just a bitch and i would just like not know how to deal with that situation he would complete probably completely dominate me with the ego or whatever you know, which is shit. I was so unaware of that at that time when I was like, when I was young, I would have no idea really what was going on. Then later on in my life, when I turned into an asshole, I would have taken the opportunity to just be a complete prick and just fuck him up. Probably just like calling him a fucking idiot. I don't know. I, I there's been times where like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like go in there and fucking just be like, make someone feel stupid and like almost make a scene about it. That type of shit, man. Like, there's an there's a certain energy you can come with at someone that really fucks him up. Like, but it's like you end up losing in the end because you because someone teed up the ego and you just fucking multiplied it times five, and now the, all the ego's swimming around and you and and I won. Now I won the ego battle and I feel good about myself. But guess what? That doesn't last, man. That's nothing. It's nothing. It's so it's like fucking. It's like eating a pizza. Or eating candy, you know, it's just not even good for you. It feels good in the moment, but it ain't good for you. I promise you that. <sighs> so now I'm trying to, but I, but guess what? I I still felt like she, okay. And and then when when this guy to finish the story, when I'm checking out because I just put my, I just put my card in the fucking thing like right away when I got in the store and I he, I saw him being a douchebag. I was just like, I just put my card in the fucking register, and he was still like asking me questions, and I was just like looking at him like. What the fuck are you doing, dude? I the whole time I was just looking at him like he was kind of dumb, and like just barely answering his questions, because I was righteous. You know, I'm just coming in there to pick up pizza. He's the one being a douchebag. I didn't really play into it, but at the same time, it still kind of felt like shit. Finishing the story, so when he he went and got the pizza, and I was just like, all right, let's let's wipe our hands of this. Let's be let's just be cordial and get out of the store, and you know, 
go on because I'm trying to, I'm trying to be, I'm literally trying to be kind to people. I'm trying to be nice, but it's not that fun to be nice to because you, you know, first of all, the ego isn't there. It's like, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to manage it. So he, he comes to give me the pizza and I pay with the card and he hands it to me. I'm like, thanks, man. And then he says nothing. He doesn't say you're welcome. And typically in that situation, I would usually be like, oh, I would just say you're welcome right to him. Or you could even go further and be like, dude, you're supposed to fucking say you're welcome in these types of situations. Like you're working a retail job. If you're not going to do customer service, like you should probably fucking quit. I've said that to people before in certain situations, but this time I'm just like, dude, like I'm not trying to be that person anymore. I just don't want to fall into the trap of that, of that shit. So yeah, he didn't say, I said, thank you. He didn't say you're welcome. And I was just like, I just like, took the pizzas. And then he was like, have a great night. Again, he's trying, he's trying to make me feel like shit because he didn't answer. These are subtle things, man, but they are real. These are like energies and emotions that are going on in a transaction. This is like another light, probably like a, a half layer down. It is like things have layers of truth, right? The first layer of truth is like the language barrier or the language interaction, the, the words that we say. Then there's the body language and like the subtext of conversation. Um, there's always another conversation going on. There's always like what we say, the stuff up front is, is the primary interaction, but there's always subtext. Then, then there's more layers too. Like then there's like the layer below that, which is like the machinations of the universe and like uh, potentialities bur burgeoning into existence and like natural selection finding its way in its course and fate working, working its hands to, to, to make things what they are. That's probably like the third or fourth level is underneath all those, there's layers of truth. If you look at something in a certain way of certain perspective, you're going to see a different thing. It's like looking at uh, this stuff on, on the surface, people could be like, you're making too big of a deal out of this stuff, but I'm telling you, like, this stuff exists. These in, in human communication, all this stuff is fucking interplayed. And, and some people might be more or less aware of this than others. But for me, I've been something I've been really in tune to since when I was younger. I had such a lack of awareness of it. I've, I've delved into it and really developed, like, a, an almost an obsessive amount of uh, paying attention to this type of stuff. And I'm always checking and clocking it and can fucking see it. So the guy uh, doesn't say you're welcome, hands me the pizzas, and then he says, have a great night when I'm out the door. And I had it, if, if I ignore him, now if I ignore him in that situation, and he says, have a great night, that's ego tip. That's, and I was tempted to do this, but that's ego. If you're working with ego there, you just ignore, I ignore him. And me ignoring him is being slightly rude on my own end. And this is what I, I almost did that in that moment. But I thought about everything going on, and this is like a fucking quarter second decision, right? And I'm just like, I said literally and genuinely, I, I tried to be as, genu as genuine as I could. I wasn't even being sarcastic. I said, you, you too, man. Or I said, yeah, you too. Or something. I literally, and you know what? It fucking felt like, I felt like kind of a bitch. Like I really, like there was a little bit. And, I, and here's the funny thing. I can't tell if I was addicted to the ego rush before. I, can't, I don't know if I was addicted before or if like legitimately. Like, do you actually get like a, do you actually feel like shit when someone's rude to you? Or like if you don't address the situation or was I just addicted before to acting it, to reacting to it with ego and I'm not getting that hit this time. But yeah, man, when I walked out of the store, I was just like, fuck. Like, I kind of feel like shit. I was just like down. Because like the interaction. I mean, it's all a fucking... Those type of battles are battles to the bottom, man. Those are races to the bottom. Like you can't go... You can't be racing someone to the bottom. Because the person who gets to the bottom first fucking loses. That's the fucking thing. So I'm not trying to engage in those things anymore. But I'm trying to figure out a way to still deal with the situation productively and retain your sense of 
control over it too. You don't want people walking over you or being egotistical. You have to manage that, man. People are fucking out in this world. Almost every other guy that I'm running into is fuck, especially in these retail situations, is doing being a douche. There's it's like the the gen the amount of genuine people are fucking rare, which is fucking discouraging, man. So I'm trying to figure out like what I should do to it. So it's like, what could I have done? I think I think I could have been like when he was like looking or saying like making me repeat what I fucking said or like making he was trying to make it sound like what I when I went in and asked for the carry like I'm like, yeah, I'm here to carry out pickup order or pick up. I'm here to pick up a carry out order. Yeah, he's probably he's probably like slightly confused about it, but he knew he he knew what it was and he decided to be a douche. In that situation, I'm still even trying to figure like what could I do? I think I think what you can do is you can you can just be exasperated, man. You can just be at the end of your fucking rope. And you can just be fucking sick of it. Like, yeah, yeah, man. I'm here to fucking pick up a carrot. I, I ordered online. Yeah, obviously. And and say something like that in a way like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Just, you know, yeah. Yeah, I ordered online, dude. Like, you can just like very lightly put them in their place with well, without responding with ego, right? Like in a, in a way that's genuinely, it's like for the good of everyone, right? Like, I'm not here to fucking battle with you, but I also don't like the way that you're acting right now. So I can tell you in a way that maybe gives you a lesson or another way to act in the future too. Like, hey man, yeah, I, I ordered online, like a pickup order. I picked it up to carry it out. I don't know, is that with ego though? If I start explaining shit, the thing is I could very aggressively do it in a way that's, com- I could be comical, could use humor, that's not somewhat egotistical. See, I don't want to fucking lose my humor, man. If that's egotistical, that's another thing I was thinking too. If that's egotistical, that sucks because I, I'm not, I can't lose that. That's some of the funnest shit in life. I should have cra- I should have cracked the situation. I didn't crack the situation open at all with a joke. That's, I didn't lighten any of the tension. See, this is what I, this is the thing. I'm not loose. This is what I was saying before. In the last video, I lost some of my juice when I started, when I decided I'm not going to be an asshole anymore. Those social situations, I just had this such pattern down. Like, I knew how to deal with it. Now I don't, and I'm like somewhat lost of how to, ma- how to navigate. I think it'll just take some time to figure it out. But it's like, I feel like I'm, I've kind of fallen into a pattern of, of just almost being, I'm walking it back a little much. I haven't really found a method to deal with to, to, to deal with it in a way that's not, you know, bringing more ego in the world. But I guess maybe just a, like a light lesson or make a joke of some kind. Not at the expense of the other person. Don't make them feel dumb. But just... I don't know. It's fucking annoying, though. People that fucking... Working at Domino's should be... Like, you're a fucking douche, dude. I'm getting fucking... Tired of that, but... You know... I guess it's just part of the process, figuring out how you... How to, uh... Reorganize yourself after you've... Gone through a personality change, or like a lifestyle, or... An approach to life change. You're trying to fix something. You're just gonna have to take some time to... Give yourself some time to figure it out. And on the ride home, so I got this I got this Uber home with the pizza. It's the epilogue of this story. And I after I was sitting there, I was I was like pissed at myself. I was waiting for this fucking Uber. Wait, I waited like 10 minutes for an Uber. And I'm like pissed at myself. Because I kind of felt like shit, like, oh fuck, dude. I just got this guy was kind of a douche and I didn't give him I didn't fuck him up. And I, yeah, I couldn't tell if it was withdrawals from being an egotist or not or just the situation but i got in this uber i got in the uber 
Um, and he just, the, the guy was a fucking douche. He just had music on. He didn't say anything. wasn't friendly. And I'm just like, whatever. But it was, he, he had this fucking radio show on. That I was just like, I don't want to fucking listen to this. And it was just fucking loud. So I'm just like, hey, can you turn down the fucking, I was like, hey, can you turn on the music, turn on the radio? I don't even want, no, I'm telling this part of the story, but he like, he like turned it down like a little bit. He, it was like on 10, he turned it to eight. And I was going to say something else, but I'm just like, what the, whatever. And then like 30 seconds after that, he did turn it down all the way. And then we just like rode home in silence. And it was just, there's just like this feeling of like, like, dude, is this like, I think we were both in the car, just like, the energy was just like, I don't know. It's like fed up. The city was like, it's like 10 o'clock at night. You know, it's kind of foggy out, just driving home and looking out. There's these kids playing basketball at the park. And I'm like, we were driving by this place. I just walked and I, I don't know, man. I was just tired of it all. Like, I just, I'm, t- I'm tired of dealing with this shit. Like, why can't it just be something that, like dealing with people being a douche because the guy kind of really he was like hey i'm out i'm also being a douche here because he only only turned he turned it down like a minute amount and then he did turn it down all the way and we're both just like i don't know man just rode in silence back to the house i got out said thanks he he was nice i gave him a tip and i went in and fucking ate a large pizza by myself so you know that's life. That was my night. So, you know, it's just like, what do you... As men, how are we supposed to interact with each other? Right? Like, some of the some of this shit, like, some of the passive-aggressive bitch, some of the passive-aggressive shit ego, being egotistical at, at fucking retail stores has to fucking stop, guys. Like, this is some pussy shit to be doing that. Like, honestly, some people sh- should get the fucking shit slapped out of them. And I'm not that big of a dude. You know, I'm like 5'9 and skinny right now. Usually skinny. So, and I look young as fuck. So, like, some people are going to pick me. If they're going to, if someone's going to try to be egotistical, they might pick me. You know? And hey, people got, people gotten fucked up from that before. Like, there was a mistake to do that to me. And I made sure of that. In, in the last seven years, but it led me to a place where I basically lost a lot of what made life good. So I'm just trying to figure out a way forward. I don't know. I don't know how productive any of this was talking it out to myself, but I, I think it'll take some time for me to to realize a new way of being and a new way of interfacing with the world. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to give in, man. I'm not going back to that way, that life. I'd rather be be kind and, and try to perpetuate um, good vibes than give in to the temptation of being egotistical. I mean, that's the light and the dark, man. That's the devil and, and the fucking, and the angel on your shoulder. You got two choices. Who are you gonna, which one are you going to be? And other people are going to come at you with that devil. Like, what are you going to do? Don't bring it. Don't bring your own devil to the fight, because you don't want two devils is worse than one devil. Well, you ideally there'd be no devils, gentlemen. Like, what are we doing here? Stop being a fucking douche. Don't be shitty to people. Like, how hard is that to fuck? I know people. I know you feel like shit. I know you had a bad day. I know your dad beat you when you were a kid. Whatever the fuck it is, you're bringing more negativity, negativity and, and bullshit to the world. Please. And me too. I've trust me. I've been. I'm not a fucking innocent man in any of this. I'm right there with everyone. So I'm trying to figure out. Right alongside. As we go here, like I don't have the all the answers, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be better, and I'm trying to. To be something that. I'm just trying to get the fuck. Out of the hell that I made myself in. I put myself in. I don't give a fuck if that's selfish. I don't want to be in a shitty place in my life anymore. I also am not going back to being a bitch. So we're going to find a way forward. 
I know that. But it's going to be the right way. And it's going to be filled with love and kindness. That's the priority. I'm not going to be a piece of shit to people. Even if they're a piece of shit to me, they're not getting it back. So, I don't know. 